CS. In fact, in some cases, they're winning in CS. Tavo's actually ahead of the Slark right now and uh, feeling pretty good about it, too. Is he going to keep up the pressure? Mike might just be able to run him down. The Shackle Shot doesn't quite latch. He managed to pounce himself away, so they're going to go for Taiga instead. A nice two-man Earth Spike, but is it actually going to keep him alive here? Thera Lacor pops a wind run, turns around. Taiga, very likely, as long as Tavo lands this next Timber Chain. Ooh. He's got, ooh, Fairy Fire, actually. Thea Lacor pops a Fairy Fire himself, but that's not enough to live through the Dark Pack. They came the in, jukes. Taiga dodges the next Timber Chain. And now uh, Tavo, he's running a little low on mana. They catch him right as he goes for the Timber Chain away. Oh no, Tavo, he's got one more Timber Chain left, but no, he actually gets taken away. The intelligence that's lost from the Essence Shift Unless 23 Savage might be crazier. Is this Carl I'm watching or 23 Savage? He's apparently gonna fight to the death here. There's no Stone Gaze. They need to help him somehow. There's the Rolling Thunder. That's gonna be a bit of help. But the Fiend Script catches him. And is that gonna be enough to finish him off? They don't have the damage just yet from the Savage attacking through all of this. The Torrent included. Finally, though, they'll be able to bring down the Tanky Dusa as Crystalis falls, however, to the secondary cores. There's Cuckoo and Carl. They're also gonna be able to find BZM God. And BZM, no longer a god, but a dead mortal. Amar, also in trouble. They break the sprout immediately. They clay near him. Amar has the timber chain. Will be able to find the farthest tree away from him. Has not been solved with a lucky shot, but his armor's been reduced. And that might just be Ooh. enough. He gets one more kill into Cuckoo, though. Amar's still alive. Amar getting out of this one. And we still have an Echo Sun for Chuvash. He has to be careful. Zephyr doesn't, can't get close. There's the Echo Sun used. They oh tear my. through Carl. Oh doesn't want to use the chrono until he sees Smiling Lina's Light. here. She BOT's in. She did. She has to fight. Oh, they have a perfect chrono here. And they do get the like it just barely though. And FNG actually cookies himself into the chrono. That's what the press kit first. They're going to be not strong enough. The press kit will win the mano a mano. And the press kit with that BKB, he's too strong. Nobody can bring him down. Someone needed to stop him. He is going to get two free. Provide a lot of the control. And yeah, it looks like the shard primarily for Clinks, you need it. Ooh, just so ooh. you always have the death pack. Eco baby. He's got a spider like BKB out. Ame oh, though jumping over onto the back lines. They don't quite have the vision though as he has the Limmer Cape and the Force Staff. As far as to be careful, he's going in for the call. They have Limp over on the high ground. They're trying to just take out this Faceless Void, and they will be able to do it with a big dunk. Faith Bien, though, he's very tanky. Nico Baby throwing out the stun. Zhao 8, a Force to run away. And they have this Brain, though, coming out from Limp, doing a decent amount of damage over on the back lines. Again, Zhao 8 to fall. Ame, though, still putting out a lot of damage. S4, he's got to be very careful. Just moves off to the side again. Limp doing the little battery dance that he can do as a Pugna will be able to ensure S4 is still part of this fight as they go in again with that Storm Hammer. They've got some of the damage. Do they have enough, though, is the question. Why? He does have the Chronosphere if they need it to just try to disengage, but he's got to be very careful. Nico, baby, just chopping them down into pieces, breaking those bones apart, and it looks like they'll finally be able to take out the Aegis for the first time, but he's coming up a second. There it is, the call followed up here. Why? Trying to find the angle, trying to figure out what's the best play here. S4 taking a lot of damage. They have the Decrepify, the little battery coming out, but they grab up the pocket, but they have the Guardian Angel. Faith Bien finally falling over here. FNG, oh. he's next to go down. Jin Q will also fall. Ame, though, he also gets murdered as Y gets taunted up, held into place, and just sucked dry. There are wards everywhere. There are no radiant wards around Roshan. So you see in It's going to go down too fast. They're not going to be able to get in there. Yeah, there it is. There you go. And this all stems from uh -oh. one single PL death, which could be a second if he, if he just stuns blindly into maybe a pounce. And oh, oh, oh no, the so global cool. silence at just the right moment here. Sunray BKB comes out. Is stunned though. It's going to buy a bit more time here for PSG LGD to get things done. Leash does go coil. end up snapping. This is not looking good for Hector. Can he get out of here in time? He still manages that to topple away. He's still alive somehow as they manage to drop off over here. Followed up with the finger with the echo slab. Ooh. Hitting all four of them right off the bat. Schofield, he does pay for it with his life. They only take down E and Ame still alive. Faith be it over on the corner. He's trying, but this is not looking good for him. He is the next one to fall. Can they get anyone else? Oh, they found Ame. He doesn't have any mana left. They're just chasing him down here. Fishy, fishy, fishy. A little bit more mana here for Chris Lock. They try to block off that exit route. They need the vision. Carl. Searching, trying to grab any stragglers. Now, Mapochka is very, very low. Is he going to go for the play? He wants him, but there it is. There's the Yule play as Mapochka hiding into the tree line. It does get rooted up, though. And he will fall. 23 Savage in the pit, fighting with Collapse. Who's going to get it? It's going to be 23 Savage. Adaria takes it. And this is most likely going to be a dead Collapse. They have oh, the trap. No. Can they get there fast enough? 
blinking Magnus too. does have the blink, though. I think he's going to be all right. He has an essence ring as well. Ooh. And just sidestepping, breaking the ankles, dancing around the map. They're trying. They drop the traps. And eventually 23 Savage just says, mm, you know what? Not worth my time. They have a scan. Do they want to waste it? Nope. They're using traps, though. To be fair, Collab, this is very, you know, very patient here. I Most players... On top of... Uh on top of that barrier, which keeps him alive. So that that's all what kind of ends up baiting LGD into taking what was a pretty haphazard fight for them, as they will now find out. Okay. Nope. As they now find the sniper, though, this is ideal. The most important kill this. The hook, Mickey, saving him. They're committing for this. They have the void. They just need to hit him once with the void. Oh, the oh but the Yules! They stopped Night Stalker. Quake was still alive. He can actually fight back. They have the assassinate ready. They're going to go and kill Sinkyu. Jinkyu, sorry. And that's going to be... I've not rolling. seen it yet. I've legit, I've not seen any clinks with PL. So maybe on old patch, PL would slot in, but the new barrage, it could be the answer. Carl's going to need some teleports to come in here as fast as possible. The stop coming here from Zephyr will enable him to stay alive a little bit longer. He's going to be able to bottle through. Save over on the side. Whiteman to fly forward. Can they slow down GPK long enough? Yes, that's the last click coming in. Lots of theory crafting going on. Yeah, sorry. For sure. No, it's good. <laughs> it's good. This is what people want to hear, you know. They're trying to figure out how am I supposed to deal with this because I'm sure it's popping up in everybody's pubs right now. I'm sure they've had enough of that nonsense, but save a little bit off the mark here as a quick follow up. But they do have dust. They've got three Big heroes. Sleep. Yep. And it's a great sleep coming out Lycan, from Zephyr. The clinks and all them TPing in with them hoping that Lion, Venge and Lesh can maybe defend their base. Maybe not right now because, you know, the ancient, you know, we're chilling with the it's, fortify, but be sad. ready. Bam. That's, oh, I'm so, oh, the end. Oh, look at the way that they're moving around. Beautiful. beautiful burrow strike coming out immediately here. Carl joining into the fight. They'll be able to take down GBK. He's got no buyback. DM now running for his life. He's got that BKB, but it's going to wear out of duration as 23 Savage and Carl are just running after this wolf. And he's very, very fast, but they need to try to get something here. Try any sort of stun. He's starting to get closed in on this chase, though. Starting to slow down. They have the Yules coming through. Carl turning back around with the LSA and they're able to take down DM. This time though, he does have the buyback. They're trying to take down this Phoenix Eggs as fast as possible and they'll be able to fight him with 23 Savage joining back in here with the boots of travel. Starts chasing after save and it looks like he's going to get hexed up over on the back line though. They do have the Vengeful Spirit buyback coming out from the Phoenix. Comes out from DM as well as save somehow still alive after everything is said and done. They don't have any vision over here on the side. So save is going to be able to teleport out. MVP's audience starts to grow as more people realize this is Oh, a they have game. found themselves a little piggy. Cool. It's going to run away. P.O. does buy back Vision. now. Vision, that's going to pop the end. Just go for a white mon. 23 Savage buying back. They get the swap over on Nightfall. He does have a refresher orb. It's just going to run out of the circle area here. The Hex. Oh, it's almost Beautiful enough, stuff. but it's just a save coming in clutch. Live it up to his Bye. name here. Great heads up play from Nico Baby there, actually making sure to morph up to enough percentage health that he can meld and not be visible to the Bloodseeker. Uh, nicely done. Jump forward over onto Boxy. They've got the dust from Taiga, but that silence hurts a lot. Do they have any vision, though? They'll follow up, dropping the blood right, jumping back over onto S4. They've got so much damage, he's going to get another burrow strike off. And Mickey, he's just taking too much here from Nico. Maybe he will fall. Boxy's just taking Boxy's a bath dying. over here in the sandstorm. He's going to try to get over to the side. They have the stun. They'll follow up with some more of that. And they're just going to wait patiently, it seems. S4 would like this kill. Boxy again, just melding, trying to just stay alive. It looks like Alliance, they've had enough of this game. They're just going to go right full duration, down. But just a couple of stuns with the roll-up uh, killing off or significantly lowering the impact of the illusions. I think LGD have the solutions to terribly the entire game. I don't think he reaches overwhelming point here. Nope. Oh, Let's see. dear. Uh, he should be able to still kill him. Yeah, Turned around and goes to the Mac. Toro is definitely dead, though. Oh! No Ooh. way! No what? way! Oh, my goodness. That was insane, and now, I mean, they were hoping to be able to get the kill on a Terror Blade, but the potential of losing a fight as well? Okay, never mind. BKB, Toronto Tokyo is going to TP out as soon as they see all that heal. Why? Just shy being able to... Yeah. You're like, oh, if only I had a Stupendous. 4 that could pull my... Oh, my 4 is me. <laughs> That's the best thing you can probably do as well, because you're going to... Oh, he's looking for up, not quite. He should still be... Oh, never mind, no, he did pull me. My bad. Poiko's going to die with this? They oh, push him kick. forward. Oh, brotherly love. But is that going to be enough, though? They're chasing after him. Quick with a bottle healing. One last hit from Lena. Dragon wow. Slip. The purification from Insania. Desire is just a contract you make with yourself to be unhappy until you acquire That's what true. it is you're looking That's for. And in this point. case, both teams, they want to win.
Very badly. Beast Coast. Maybe two, but you wall. can want to win too much. It's exactly. a negative. We're going to see a smoke here from T1. Carl's already used both Astral Steps, just wants to find this Bat Rider. He'll do so, but the Global Silence with the will o -Wisp nice from the doom. side, but Savage coming in. The Doom applied as well. They're putting everything on this Chris Lock, and he will go down. Oh, wait, uh, K1? Okay. Uh, no big game. Center, Burrow Strike. Oh, but there's the Heavenly Grace, beautifully timed again. But K1's going to get turned on, potentially. 23 Savage trying to TP out. What? successful. The Burrow Strike is a little bit too late. So away he goes, and this is exactly what you were talking about. T1 is very happy with that one kill, and if they can get out, They'll be satisfied. Cuckoo might have to sacrifice himself, though. Again, Midas off cooldown. Not like uh, this. Yeah. Like, that's so annoying. And now, post PKB, you're going to have the ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and prevent Sunder. Oh, there's the Global Science with the lasso into the Epicenter Burrow Strike. Is this going to be enough to take out 23 Savage? He gets a Stormbolt off onto the high ground with the BKB activated. There's the Guardian wow. Angel. He somehow lives throughout all of that. They used everything, and now T1 just resetting a bit here. Another nice Burrow Strike. They That's the Dagon Scepter, but already too dead for Beast Coast. And now Savage the Doom gonna come applied back. to the Terra Blade. He's TPing in. And he is just going to get dropped like a rock. Double kill for Carl. Just amazing counter initiation. On the cliff. If Fata can find Wyvern, it's a guaranteed black hole. Yeah. Fata does not have Blink. He might end up buying it. He has 2k gold saved up right now, so it could be next on the docket for him. Yeah, I figured I would, that I think it would be, be amazing this game for him to get Yeah, absolutely. Here. He's going to pop his ult. Gets the silence off. On, yep, there's the doom. It comes out. Fata's on the high ground, but it doesn't really matter. There's a big black hole onto two. Tidehunter's going to take a tumble, and the gyrocopter is getting decimated within this midnight pulse. And GPK, he was the target of the Doom, it looks like, as the double kill comes from nine. Double buyback. Wyvern and Tide still have their ultimates, but they're all alone, Cinder, and they have nothing to do. Fata still looking for this high five. Finally, DM gives them the high five. Congratulations. What that gets you is yet another death. A dieback, Great in fact. job from TA, man. Nine is an actual god. Jin Q. Gonna be spotted out here, gets the deck. Oh, if he gets this kill. If he oh. gets this kill, there's no way, oh right? Head. There is no way he gets this kill, please. Oh, oh my god. My heart. <laughs> <laughs>